What's up folks, new EDC update here, gonna try to keep it quick, so gonna jump right into it. Over here on the left are the basics as you can see, the wallet, cell phone, keys, oh by the way, uh, I'll show you this case. This is an Evo Shift, so it has the keyboard, you know, as you can see. Um, this case, I actually really like it, it's uh, it's it stayed on, I mean it's, and it's, sturdy i mean it's it's a otter box otter box case it was like 25 30 bucks and um pretty good case i gotta say one disadvantage is that it's really hard to get a, a screen protector on the on the phone with this case but otherwise it has um been excellent and i've had it for um, i think a few months now so just wanted to point that out over here on the keys i've got the jdr knife and tool little pry bar bottle opener um, got a video on this out already and just a little a little light on a clip here just a little kind of like a photon not the it isn't the photon brand it's like it though and so there's that Let's see if I can get it back on here okay get the keys out of the way watch don't need to really go into that this is a sharpie it's uh I think it's an aluminum case. Found it on Amazon. Thought it was pretty cool. It's like five bucks, and um, and the the ink cartridges are you can you can change it. So I thought that was pretty awesome. So I was like, ah, oh, cool. You know, it can be um, take place of a of a tactical pen or a, you know Kubaton type thing. You know, as a as an impact weapon. You know, for self defense. And so I thought this so that was uh, that was pretty cool. You know, a lot less. Uh, tactical looking or whatever uh, but you know just been carrying it for a little while now seeing how it goes i have found that this clip sucks it's um it popped right off and uh, you know, i sat down one the other day for lunch and it just popped off and it had this in you know sitting in my pocket luckily i was able to find it and i um, put it back on with uh, you know needle nose needle nose pliers but uh, that kind of sucks i might try to put some epoxy on there or something but we'll see how that goes this is my um, <clears throat> primary light source, a 4.7's Quark AA2 or squared or whatever. Video coming on this for sure because it's been my favorite light for the past few years and I just love it. It's And the fact that it's so slim makes it really pocketable, easy to carry every day, uh, excellent light. And uh, knives, Spyderco, Urban here with a um, Warncliffe blade shape, as you can see. Slip joint knife. Uh, just really love this knife for EDC. I mean, as an everyday carry, it just it just works. And it's small, um, but it's got a very capable blade, as you can see. And I like even. I mean, I, there's a video coming on this one too, of course, because it's being one of my favorite EDC knives. I don't know how I haven't made a video on this yet. I just been slacking off, but I like that you can really you can kind of choke up like that to do like real fine cutting tasks if you like. And it's very comfortable, you know. Or you know, from more hard cutting, you can uh, use the normal grip there. So very cool. Love this knife. And of course, usually got one of these floating around in my pocket. A Victory Knox Classic SD. Got a video on this combination as well because I just think it's so useful having one of these little Victory Knox tools in your pocket, along with um, something something like, if not a Spyderco uh, Ladybug or something I don't know of the equivalent size because it's so compact and just so handy, just to you know be able to throw it around and and just have it floating, like I said, floating in your pocket and purse if you're a, a woman or whatever. Purses, I'm always nervous about having spider clothes uh, or like, you know, having a, um, someone carry, a, a girl carry a spider coat in her purse because with the, the, you know, spider hole, I mean, I could just, uh, I could just see it getting caught on something and the blade getting pulled out and then her reaching in there and, oh man, that's an ugly thought, you know, would not want that to happen. So for for ladies i would highly recommend if you're gonna do something like this and have it floating around in the purse unless it's in like a dedicated pocket or somewhere where you know it's not going to catch on something and get that blade pulled out definitely have it definitely have a different knife in there that has um 
some sort of lock or that has a lot better blade retention than uh, the average spider coil you know I, I like the um, bench made uh, bench mite which unfortunately I, I think is discontinued I'm not sure I'm not I'm not positive on that um, let me see oh, crap. I don't I'm, I'm not gonna get it for you right now look it up the bench made bench mite if uh, it has a that's a that's a great great option for uh, for this type of thing you know for a keychain type knife situation anyways so that's that um, I was carrying this cam you know camera around today so I figured I'd throw it in here I don't carry it every day but I try to I try to like as I should um, and my hat always <laughs> got a hat oh and of course I was gonna show the show this I forgot that I put it on uh, my my survival you know 550 paracord bracelet I actually made this one and I used an anchor, anchor shackle this is kind of a fancy polished anchor shackle as the fastener a little more work than those regular plastic clips but also a little more stylish and rugged for sure you know and definitely you know this thing is not gonna fall off accidentally you know or whatever but um, yeah made this one actually out of a single strand of paracord I think it's like I think I used like 65 70 inches so that's pretty I'm pretty stoked about that because a lot of times people use multiple strands to make these somehow I figured out how to do it with just one strand so so that's it there's my ADC and um, definitely more videos coming your way so see you guys next time thanks for watching